So you've launched your campaign and started tracking conversions. What's next? To start hitting your goals, you'll need to know how well you're doing, mainly the number of shiny tulips you're selling. In this video, we'll show you how to review your performance in Google Ads. This is the overview page. It's the page you land on after logging into Google Ads. See the line chart and the cards below it? They show you important details on how your campaigns are doing. For example, your campaigns that drove the most flower sales or which day of the week people click on your search ads. The fastest way to spot trends and see how you're doing is with the line chart. Let's walk through how to use it. You start by customizing the chart to focus on your most important metrics. This makes it easy for you to see performance changes right away. You can start by focusing on conversions and cost per conversion. Another good metric to include is conversion rate, which tells you the average number of conversions per click. Then pick a range to look at. Make sure to pick a range long enough for you to spot trends. Let's look at the last few months. Now, your line chart will be updated based on the key metrics and date range you choose. As you review your data, be aware of things that can impact performance. Things like holidays, sales, or even changes you make to your account. If you sell flowers, you'll probably see a big bump in sales on Mother's Day. A quick way to find out the most interesting insights are the cards below the line chart. They show you interesting patterns in your data you may have missed. Let's take a look at the card. It says your tulip campaign drove 20% fewer clicks today compared to the last few Mondays. Based on this insight, you may decide to change your bids or budget. And that's it. You know how to check your performance in Google Ads. You're a lean, mean, analyzing machine. Remember, looking at the data is only part of the work. You need to take action.